well I've given you a different a slightly different camera angle here because sometimes that's useful to show position of hands etc now I'm, at the moment the camera as I'm sat on the wheel the camera is to my left in other words where the gauge is you can see the camera is just sat there just behind the gauge that your tool, last time you used it, your stick, you put it down, it's, the clay dry, has dried on it, so you have to sort of clean it off. I don't know what the solution to that is other than leave the clay, the, not the clay, the stick in the, in the water. All right, now I've got my, my wire here, so clean off your wire before you before you use it and off we go. Next one. Clockwise, anti-clockwise I mean. My grandfather recently had a, a question from somebody about um, that they had a leech type treadle kick wheel and um, but that they were left handed so they felt that they had to be over on the other side to throw I don't know actually if you're left handed it would mean that you would necessarily have to learn learn to throw on the left hand side of the pot like the Japanese do with the wheel going clockwise as opposed to anti-clockwise but uh, I don't know with these leech type kick wheels I suppose one could um, change the mechanism from right from the right from, from the side that it is over to the other side the um, the treble mechanism and the hinge etc. So you see now I'm, I'm beginning to slowly find a bit of rhythm here. These are the first pots I've made since I've been back here in Spain. In fact, I originally, originally intended to, to have started earlier, but I I got called away on a mission down in the garden to finish our summer house, which is half half finished. So I've been down there slaving away in the heat. Uh, well, I put a sink down there in the summer house, so we've got some water down there, and make a sort of pergola a place so it's all shaded and it's all really for the benefit of you students who are coming out here. So. Got a place for three hammocks to be hung. So after I've been slave driving you here in the workshop, you can go, <laughs> go down the summer house and put your feet up. There's a fan down there. We've got coffee making facilities. And we will have a small fridge down there, the hammocks. A place just to just relax a little. 
thing about doing workshops and things like that, the actual the, the relaxation breaks are very important psychological points along the way through the day that one needs to one needs to enjoy those times. So as I'm hosting these courses here and these workshops, I do actually want people to eat well, drink well and well, siesta well or relax in between in between our exertions we have little periods of relaxation which I think is important. Okay, well we'll make some space on the board there at the end. Alright, well this is Simon Leach saying as ever, keep practicing, hang on in there. We'll see you soon. Bye now.